Another one? Eh, let's give it a go. Hey guys, Brandon Prime here, and welcome back to another Prime Reviews. And welcome to the long-awaited Doctor Who, the 12th Doctor's second Sonic Screwdriver. And I will be reviewing this sucker, so first, let's take a look at his box. So, obviously, I kept this, so I could do this for the review. The Sonic was sitting there, and the batteries are already installed in the device. This is the 12th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver with a nice big Doctor Who logo and it's product shot and a load of legal stuff on the back and another product shot and more legal stuff. Eh. Anyways, let's get into the review. So today is the day. So, I this is my favourite one of the most. These little hooks all the detail and everything that's been put into this toy is amazing and this is actually the first sonic screwdriver to have four light up modes i will show you the light modes in a second but let's get into detail with this there's no writing on it like the last ones so yeah um to change the batteries you would you would unscrew this well not unscrew you would literally twist this section to the right revealing the battery compartment inside but and I think they take like pen or something like batteries I'm not sure I don't know really like okay so the special detail of the uh, Sonic on the bottom it starts right from the top with the with the light with like it's nice little like thing and it looks like the TARDIS rotors in the TARDIS based on the original design this is intended to make for Peter Capaldi. It gets smaller as it goes down, and then it ends off with this little tip, which is pretty cool actually. Like, I don't know why it's cool, but you know. So let's get into the let's get into the Sonic's loud and sound and light features. So if you pull the if you pull this tab up or down, it will give a sound effect, so let's do the blue section. If you pull it down once, it reveals a very light blue um, effect. If you pull it down twice, like this, it reveals the mode of the TARDIS rotor, like in the original Sonic. If you do, if you push it up, it's got a green mode. If you push it up twice. It, it gets this sort of green pulsating effect and the light emitter now goes pulsating green pretty cool now these little hooks on the end don't do anything but I don't care this is my most favorite this is what I'll probably use for the I don't know 300 subscribers special if it ever comes if I ever get to 300 with Ben Oliver we'll do a special segment of the new project we're planning on doing for the 300th but yeah, apart from that, this is a pretty awesome toy. Now this is really cool on how this was actually made. The best Sonic I've ever seen. That's all done. I guess this is Brandon Prime saying, well, subscribe, stay primed, this toy is awesome, and see you guys. Bye! Alien in the room! Alien in the room! Go away!